for that was for the party. What will be the fate of the APRC in the next 2026? When, when is your alliance ending with them? Well, the alliance goes to 2026. Oh, uh, so there's a proposal, maybe 2026, <laughs> uh, April, May, mm -hmm. we'll have an uh, extraordinary Congress. Meet, uh, yeah. so that we'll and then you will decide. Yes. yes. Many people would have loved the APRC to reunite, you know, reconcile, that is, so that you have your block intact. They said, if you have your block, the so-called, uh, how do they call it, not a coalition, mm -hmm. Uh, with the APRC, they want to have them, you know, in, intact. Say, say that would be a formidable force, and perhaps that would put you very much advantage in, in any negotiation that you may enter into any of the parties. Are you thinking of uh, going on your own this time, going solo? Well, uh, the party will decide that. There are some who have that uh, belief that the APRC will put up a candidate because they believe that's what would also push the party and revitalize it to give it a strength that it has lost. Because people believe, whether you people in the APS believe this or not, that uh, by give, by dishing out jobs to your top executive, they're virtually killing your party, swallowing your party. Well, I I wouldn't blame those that are employed. By do, do they have a value? Or the, or the, or the government. That if, you cont if you continue to receive a job from the NPP, this time or the next time, you're killing your party gradually because uh, people have been given positions in, in your in, from your party, you are actually going to be NPP. Um, and these are the big wigs, huh? Yeah. Well, well, and what I'm saying to them, that depends with the party, what the party will do. If the party does nothing, just uh, lying in wait, obviously it's killing the party. But if the party stands up to believe in the ideals of the APRC, do what we used to do, like organize meetings, rallies, engage the grassroots, you'll have to build the party. But if that is not done, you will start to lose people within the party itself. Politics is all about that activity, that ambience. It's like reminding the people, here we are, keep up to your toes and we need to do A, B and C. If you leave people sleeping for far too long, others will wake them up and carry them away. Because uh, this, if you look at the transition, if you look at the timeline, you, you think that, okay, Fabakar Tomo is the head of the APRC, is in the parliament, and his term goes beyond the 2026 elections, yes. isn't it? Yes. So if he were to keep his job... Oh, he, he, he definitely doesn't have that problem with uh, regards to keeping his no, job. No, I'm it. talking about that. Like, he, he could still be... Uh, no, what I mean is, he, he cannot be removed. He, can, he, can, he cannot be removed. Yeah, he, can. he, can. he cannot be removed. Okay, listen now, he yeah. cannot be removed. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now I'm trying to say, if he, his job is beyond 2026, Yes. all right, if... Um, he, he he decides, or the party decides. Now our our this thing is going to end now. Here, he probably may not look for um, you know continuation of his job after the after the president after his term ends in twenty twenty seven. Well, I don't foresee him uh, continuing his position. I don't foresee that. Jumbo yes, wants to retire. He wants to be on his own and sort out all the issues. Mm -hmm. This. Where his plans long time ago. So what I don't see him serving another time in parliament. What's going to happen to the, the leadership of the party then? Well, I think the, the party have to decide mm. that. And it's only through Congress that we make these decisions.